Hi guys, it's Trish back with another video. Today we're going to make a fun two hole bead bracelet. We're going to be using the Potomac Beads treasure box uh, for January 2024. It's called the Roaring 2020s. What I've done here, guys, is I've gotten the seed beads out of that box. These are the Mayuki seed beads in Silver Line Light. I've gotten four of the six millimeter black fire polish. And I've pulled out all of the two hole beads that were in the check mix that was in the box. I am also using um, Potomac Beads uh, beading needles and I am using Potomac Beads a dragon thread as well. So we got everything covered there. You are also going to need a couple wire guardians. And in place, if you don't want to use the, the check glass, you can also use bugle beads if you have them on hand. But I thought these would be a pretty addition. So to get started, guys, I threaded my needle with the dragon thread. <clears throat> I've taken one of the larger beads that were that is in the um, check mix as well, and I'm using that as a stop bead. Okay, so we're gonna start. I'm gonna put my seed beads out on my mat here because that's a little easier for me to pick them up. So get those out of there. So we're gonna start with one seed bead. One fire polish, one seed bead, and then we're gonna put on one of our wire guardians. We're gonna pull that through and we're gonna pull that down to the bottom down here. And you can see I've left a little bit of thread here. This is just to be able to tie it off and finish it at the end. And I'm gonna pick up five more 11 O's. Okay, so there's three four and five and then I'm going to go down the other side of the wire guardian go out there and then what we're going to do here is I put five on I believe that's how many I need but I just am going to double check that if with the size of your wire guardian that you have that the five doesn't fit around it nicely then you can adjust that according but five works for this size and then we're going to put on another 11 out our fire polish and another 11 out okay so that is the beginnings of the end of our bracelet one of our ends okay so let me make sure this is laying on here right before we move forward okay there we go now what we're going to start with here is I'm going to put on two more seed beads. So we have three total on the bottom here. And then I'm going to pick up, I'm going to dump these out as well. Now we won't need this, these fire polish in this wire guardian until we get to the end. So I'm going to just set those back there. Okay. Whoops. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up one of our two hole beads, a seed bead, another two hole bead, a seed bead, oops, wrong bead, I'm going to put this one on. These are really cool little apostrophe beads, I really like those, I'm sure they have a different name, but I really like these, they're super fun. So I'll put one of those on, and a seed bead. And then our black one. These are really cool angled um, two hole beads. I really like those. I'm, I know there's got to be a better name for them than that, but so I'm just going to push that down. And this is the start of our pattern. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to continue this pattern. And we're going to go seed bead, two hole, seed bead, two hole. And grab this little apostrophe bead. <clears throat> and we have our little apostrophe bead there. And now we're going to add another seed bead. I just push these over here and use from this pow here. And we're going to pick up one of our black. Now what I've found, guys, is to put these on 
the side up that I want them to be, these little apostrophe beads, I kind of, and, and this is just how my brain works, but I turn my needle over like this so I know for sure when I'm putting it through that that is going to be the side that's up when I go through this left side, okay? That's just how my brain works. It works better with these, but so when you do that, just go down through uh, this way if, if your brain works like mine. So let's pick up another seed bead and now we're back to our blue seed bead and black oops I always want to do that seed bead and then our apostrophe so we want this side up so I'm gonna go down through that side with my needle this way so I make sure that that's how things come out in the wash okay because I like it to be every other silver and the decoroic side. Okay, so now we go seed bead, our blue bead, seed bead, and then our, wait a minute. Oh no, I need my black bead, excuse me. See, <laughs> sometimes it just takes a minute to kind of wrap your head around what you're doing there, so. Seed bead, and then we're gonna pick up another seed bead and start back with our blue. And our blue, and a seed bead, and one of our dichroics, apostrophes, okay? And same thing, I, I go this way. Like I said, it just works better for me to get it where I want it. All right, so we're getting there. Oops, and see, it didn't even, <laughs> it didn't work the way I wanted. So I'm gonna take that off and flip that over and I wanna put that on that way, okay? To make sure we're getting our silver side up. There we go. So let me take that one off and we're gonna put it on this way. And there we go, got that one on. So we need a seat bead and then our black bead. These are so cool, I love these angled beads. we're almost there I make mine my bracelet approximately six inches and then uh, that leaves me some room for the clasp as well so let's put our blue one seed bead and our acrylic and we'll go down this way And seed bead and black. Okay, so let me measure this real quick. I have a measure right here on my desk, so let me just put this here. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, we're right about. Uh, six inches where it is now so by the time we put on our um, class our end here and our class we should be at about seven or so inches what I'm going to do though is I started with blue down here so I'm just going to do a seed bead and do our blue so we end on the same bead kind of just balances it a little bit all right so I'm going to put these to the side. We're done with those. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pick up three 11 O's because we're going to do the end on this side now. So I pick up the three 11 O's and then our one of our fire polish, an 11 O. Get 
these over here because I'm going to need them. And then we're going to put on our wire guardian. Okay. Just like so. And then we're going to put on five seed beads to go on the top of our wire guardian. Two, four, and five. Okay. And then we're going to go down through the other side of the wire guardian. All right. And then pick up a seed bead. Our other fire polish. And then three more seed beads. Okay. And then we're going to start back down through our bracelet. So I'm going to go through the other hole of our bead. All right. I'm going to pull this snug. Okay. Get everything the way we want it. And you can see like these ends, those fire polish, it makes it a little bulky. It would be less bulky with bugle beads, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it. So we're just going to start doing the same thing where we did before, except for we're not adding beads. We're using the existing beads that we have. So I'm coming out of that blue, and I'm going to put that uh, seed bead on. And I'm going to go through my black. And we're going to do this the whole way down. We're going to get do seed bead through a two-hole, seed bead through a two-hole the whole way down. So let's... Work our way down, and I'm holding it in my hand because I find, for me personally, this works better um, to get everything kind of the way I want it. And there's our next one. Let's do two here. So we have a seed bead and blue. Now we're going to tighten everything up at the end when we're tying it off, so you don't have to worry about that too much while you're doing this. Okay. Just as we work our way down here. And I also wanted to let you guys know you do need some sort of clasp and some jump rings as well. Okay. Just always make sure you're picking up a seed bead before you go through the next bead. And this does, it comes together fairly quick, especially this side. Because you're not even adding the two holes now. You're just putting those seed beads on. I'm going to grab a few more here. And just keep moving along here. Okay, guys, so I'm going to finish this up and I'll stop here before we get to the end so I can show you how to finish off the end. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've made my way back through all the beads and I'm going to pick up three seed beads. Whoops, that one's popping off screen there. So I picked up three seed beads. And then I'm going to pick up my other, oh, yep, I'm going to go through my other fire polish. I'm going to take this bead and scooch him down some, the, the, the um, stop bead, okay? So I have my three seed beads, 
I already, already have one on there, so we'll do two. And we're going to go through, this can be a little bit awkward here trying to finish this, but if you just keep a hold of it in your hand and take your needle and go back through that seed bead and up through your fire polish, and you're just going to pull that through. Let me lay this so you can see. So we pulled our fire polish. We're on this side. Make sure we have everything straight. So then we're going to take our needle up through that other seed bead that we put on earlier, up through the wire guardian, and through the, all those seed beads we have around the outside edge of the, the wire guardian. Okay, so we're just kind of enforcing and moving things here into place, reinforcing, and let's follow this around. So I'm just going through those seed beads along the top of that wire guardian, like I said. And everything's still loosey-goosey, and that's okay. We're gonna tighten it up here in a second. Back through, down through the wire guardian, okay? Back through that seed bead, the other seed bead, we're on the other side now, and down through the fire polish. Okay. So let's lay this out here and see where we are. This is our little thread that we started with here with our stop bead. I'm just gonna pull this, okay, kind of make sure everything goes into place. You can see what we have there. And then I'm gonna go down through these three seed beads between the towel bead and the fire polish. If I can get a hold of that, there we go. There we go. Get a little bit of an angle on it there, I guess. <laughs> okay, through those seed beads and then down through the towel beads the towel bead on the end. And I go down a few beads before I tie it off. So like two is fine. So I pull that that way. And this is kind of tricky. You have to be careful when you're tying off and you don't want your bracelet warped. So make sure everything's not pulled too tight. You just want it to be snug. And we're gonna give that one a little pull. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is take this off, our uh, stop bead, and I'm going to take a needle and put it on to the stop bead thread. Let's leave that one over there for now. So I'm just going to grab another needle. Because I like to use my needles to tie my knots. It makes it a little easier for me. And our thread, this is our stop bead thread. We're just gonna put that needle on. And then this helps me get this thread in the position that I want as well. So we're gonna go down through the rest of the seed beads here. This is already coming out, one of our seed beads. Through the seed beads on the other side with our stop bead thread. I think it had too much espresso today. <laughs> That's why it's giving me trouble to go through the holes, I guess. And then the seed bead and our apostrophe bead. We're going to tie them at the same area, the same spot under the same bead, okay? All right, so now that's off. And taking my needle off and I'm going to use my needle on the needle from this side now. I've got plenty of thread left too. Okay, so there we have it. And I'm going to go underneath my work up and we're gonna tie two knots. I'm gonna do one. Again, making sure that I have everything where I want it, nothing's too loose. Okay, it looks like I need to pull up on that side a little bit to make sure. Don't hesitate to check everything before you put everything in place where you want it, okay? 
And let's give this side a little tug. Make sure that's good. See, everybody's looking good. Okay, so then I'm just gonna hold this in place. Let me give that one more pull. This is a little fussy, but I know you can do it. I'm just going to keep my hand, my finger right on top of this bead, go back through that loop so we can make a knot. Okay, we got one knot in. And now we're gonna go over to that other side and we're gonna do this knot because we don't want it to get unbalanced. So we got one knot over there and it's gonna keep things from getting out of whack for you, okay? So go through this side the same way. I guess I should have left my needle on. It does work better to tie your knots, I guess. So we're gonna put our thread up through there, just like that. And again, we're pulling on the other side of that thread, making sure as we're putting things into position, we have them exactly where we want them. And get my thread out of there. And I'm gonna go back through that loop. And again, as I'm going, I'm checking and making sure everything's snug where I want it. And put my finger on that bead and pull that knot. So now we're secured. So we can cut, we can tie our other two knots without worrying that things um, are going to get out of whack. So you can actually pick your piece up now and um, tie your second knots. Okay. So we're just going to pull that and that's going to sit right under that bead or right under the apostrophe bead. I'm gonna get it over that seed bead because I don't want it under that, over it. Okay, good, got it. And then same thing on this side. We're gonna have lots of thread left to make another one. I use like a uh, wingspan and a half, so probably a wingspan would be plenty. If not, you would probably even have extra on that, but just better to be safe than sorry. Okay. And we're gonna do our second knot over there. So that's looking pretty good. So we've got two knots on each side. You can do a third if you want, but I think we're fine. What I will do um, later on, but you can go ahead and do it as you're finishing, is put a little dot of glue on that knot. I prefer to do that. To me, it seems like it keeps it in place better and you don't have to worry as much about any problems with it. So here's our bracelet. So now what we need to do is we're going to take a couple pair of pliers. We're going to put our um, clasp and jump rings on. So I'm just going to open up one of my jump rings and put on my lobster clasp and then hook that through the wire guardian. I find magnetic um, clasps work good for this as well. And what you can do also is if you're making them for sale, you can use the lobster clasp and just put a little extender chain on. And then that way you're sure that it's adjustable for people to purchase that might have not that exact same wrist, uh, that same wrist size. Okay, and I'm just putting a jump ring over here. And then we can hook our bracelet together. Just like so. My lobster's a little stiff there. There we go. There we go, guys. Our cute little tile bracelet. Really liking that. I love those colors. So pretty. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.